Alright guys, so let's start off with this Anastasia pomade in chocolate and I'm using this Morphe brush. This one is the Morphe M15B, no, M158. So this is just has a spoolie on one end and then the little angled brush at the other end. Now I'm taking the Glamouflage Concealer from Hard Candy. You can find this at any local Walmart or any drugstore that carries Hard Candy Cosmetics. So this is just a heavy duty concealer in the shade medium and I'm going to be blending and carving out that eyebrow and as you can see I'm just blending with the Real Techniques eye brush and look at the difference. How snatched. So then we're going to go in with the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to be taking the color taupe. Um, this is going to be a very simple look guys. I already had primed her eyelids with the Soft Walker Paint Pot by MAC and we're going to just blend and blend and blend that taupe color into the crease. And now I'm taking my MAC 224 blending brush and we're just going to keep that color into the crease. Now I'm going to be taking this color by MAC. This is the color nylon. Yeah, so it's nylon. So it's just a champagne reflecting color. It's really beautiful. So I'm using that as her lid color and I'm using that as her highlight in the inner corner and the highlight on her eyebrow and that's pretty much it for the eyes guys I'm just gonna go in with some Inglot gel liner afterwards and it's just gonna be really really beautiful and a really simple eye but it's gonna make a difference Now I'm going to be taking my Inglot 77 gel liner. It's absolutely the best gel liner I've tried out. And I'm using my MAC 210 brush to do this wing liner. So you just want to flick out a little wing and then you're just going to want to start coloring it in. Let's fast forward. Now I'm going to be taking the Vegas Snake Grand Glamour Lashes. And we're going to be popping those babies on. There we go, and now I'm going to be taking my Mara Badescu Rose Water. We're going to start applying that to her face. This is going to hydrate and allow the product to blend. Now I'm going to be taking the Benefit Professional. I'm going to be using that all over her face. I'm going to be mainly focusing it in the T-zone though. And um, this is actually a drugstore foundation. I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Pro Matte in shade 105. It's the perfect shade for her chest. And... I'm going to be blending and blending with this beauty blender. I think this is the best way to use. I, I think it's the best thing to use for your foundation. It just applies so beautifully. Now that contour is the Anastasia Cream Concealer in 6.0. I like that one to bronze and contour. And just to give some shape and some definition back into the face. And that's it guys. Now for highlighting. I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Light Ivory and I'm putting that under her eyes, down the bridge of her nose, the center of her forehead, and the chin. Then we're going to be going in and blending that out with our Damp Beauty Blender as well. Now remember guys, when you guys are blending with a beauty blender, you guys do not want to swipe. You guys just want to pat to keep the coverage there. Otherwise, if you swipe, you're going to be taking that coverage away and the product will be off from your face. So make sure you just pounce and bounce that beauty blender onto the face. Now we're going to be going in with our lovely Laura Mercier translucent powder. We're going to be baking under those eyes. And you want to do so before that concealer starts to crease, guys. And right here I'm just blending out those creases because if you set those creases, you will have those creases all day, every day. Now this is the Morphe M... Sorry, excuse me guys, I lost my breath there. This one's the Morphe M501. It's like a tapered brush. I just use that to wipe off all the excess powder off. 
Now I'm taking my MAC 135 brush and I'm going to be taking Hula by Benefit to carve out those cheekbones, guys. We're not going to go in with a, like, a really fierce contour today because, you know, it's, the hair is going to be a lot and all the makeup's a lot, so I don't want to overpower. Now we're going to be baking under that contour just to get a little sharper contour. And you want to leave it there for like a minute. That's what I do. And then I wipe the excess powder away. Now I'm taking my highlighter from Bobbi Brown in Bronze Glow with my Morphe 310 brush. And I'm going to be highlighting those cheekbones, guys. I love this highlighter. It's then I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia highlighter as well. This one is in Starlight. I like this one because this one's going to even pop that Bobbi Brown highlighter even more. Alright guys, so now we're going to be spraying the face and setting all those powders in. Now I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in American Doll. I'm going to be putting on putting it on very messily because I always clean it up at the end and then we're going to be taking the base one pro pencil from Anastasia as you can see look at the difference between this eye and the other eye this one looks so awake and the other one doesn't anyway guys now we're going to be going in with some mascara to coat those bottom lashes that will be our last step now we're going to move on to hair now we're going to let that curl fall, we're going to pull on the curl, and we're going to tease upward. It's going to add voluminosity to the curl, and now I'm going to be setting the curl with some hairspray. Remember, you just want to let the curl fall and tease upward with the curl, and that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to see how I curl the hair, I will link my video down below. Thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it, guys. And my girlfriend looks beautiful, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on all my social media. Bye.